Hey everybody, welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 51. In this tutorial we are going to implement uh, loading embedded indexed compressed textures. So let's go to our model CPP and inside of our switch case we're going to add a case for the embedded index compressed and what we are going to do is pretty similar to the embedded compressed however to get the uh, pointer to the texture data, we're going to look at the index of all the textures in the scene at the index of whatever this texture's index is and look at the PC data variable again. And then the same idea with the width uh, for that texture though, is going to be the total bytes that the texture occupies. So we need a way to determine uh, what the texture index is. So this will actually be pretty simple. However, to see this, I'm going to comment out this code and put a breakpoint here. Now, let's test this and see what we get. And we get asterisk zero for this first texture, for example. So what the, the way that it's laid out is if it's an index compressed texture, the path asterisk zero means, okay, it's the first texture inside of this and we could have you know asterisk one and that's the second texture and etc so we need to create a function that will take in that path and give us back the index so that's easy enough let's go up to our model header and inside of our model header we are going to add a new function to get the texture index from the string let's create the definition we should always be passing in a string that set up something like asterisk two or you know something like that. So what we will do is first we're going to assert that the length is at least two because the minimum length that the string could be is two. So if it's not two, there's something weird going on there. And if it is at least two, we are going to uh, convert the string starting at the second uh, character to an integer. So, and then we're going to return that. So, you know, if we have star two, this A2I, we're going to start at the second character. So we'd start at the two, and you know, there's a, let's say there's a backslash zero here. So it would take that and it would convert it to two and it would return that. So now if we go up, believe this is set up correctly. Let's test this out and see what we get. All right, and we get this new model. It's kind of big but it's, uh, it's got the textures loaded and stuff, so it's all good. That is all that we are going to cover for this tutorial. For the next tutorial, uh, I haven't 100% decided what we are going to do. We will either be looking at a, uh, a resource manager or we will look at uh, importing normals and then getting into lighting. So I guess we'll just see when it happens, but that's all we're covering for now, and thanks for watching.